This is a new and modern surgical procedure which replaces the ball and socket joint of the shoulder. It differs from a traditional shoulder replacement by essentially switching the ball and socket. A smooth metal ball is screwed into the socket bone and a long metal stem is placed down the humerus and a plastic socket is secured on top of the metal stem. This allows the strong deltoid or shoulder muscle to raise the arm. This surgery is indicated for elderly patients who have debilitating pain and weakness from arthritis that is developed in the shoulder joint from having a long-standing, untreated rotator cuff tear and who have not responded to other non-operative treatments. The rotator cuff is a complex of tendons deep in the shoulder which balances the ball and socket joint. Without these tendons working properly, the smooth cartilage surfaces wear away and the joint goes on to develop arthritis over time much like your car's tires tread wearing more quickly when the tires are not balanced properly. This surgery can also be performed for shoulder fractures and previous failed shoulder surgeries. Postoperative protocols differ between surgeons, but I typically will have you wear a sling after the surgery for about four to six weeks. After that, you will discontinue the sling and begin working with a physical therapist to regain the range of motion of your shoulder and strengthen your arm. You can begin using your arm for daily activities after discontinuing the sling at four to six weeks. By 12 weeks after surgery, many patients have regained excellent range of motion and strength and are comfortable using their arm. The reverse shoulder replacement is new to the United States in that it was first FDA approved in 2004, but has been performed in Europe for much longer. Our short-term studies and my personal experience is that this is a very effective procedure for relieving pain from arthritis and providing patients with a functional arm that they can use for daily activities. It is important to be evaluated by an orthopedic shoulder surgeon who has been trained in this procedure. It is a technically demanding procedure that can have complications if not performed technically well. At OSNA, we are your source for any of the latest shoulder procedures. As a fellowship trained shoulder surgeon, I have trained extensively in this procedure and specialize in all shoulder surgical procedures.